Hello everyone, it's Kitty. I recently was going through my horses on my first Star Stable account and recalling some great memories with each horse. But in that process, raised some questions. Like, when did I buy this horse? And why did I buy that horse? And then it happened. I found my level seven Gen 1 Frisian that I bought in 2014. And I knew exactly why I got this horse. It's because you could not be seen in Steve's Farm Arena at the time without one of these bad boys. This is a running joke when discussing SSO nostalgia, but it's true. This horse was the staple of every emo kid's origin story. The black beanie paired with the black varsity jacket, topping it all off with choice black jeans and shoes, and of course, the majestic Frisian would be decked out in tack as black as its coat. These were the days. The addition of the Frisian horse to the game Star Stable Online was very substantial, and through the 10 years since then of new horse breeds, the history and the importance of the Frisian gets lost to time. But I'm here to enlighten anyone who is interested in recovering the tale of the Frisian with me today. So without further ado, Let's dive into the history of the Frisian horse. Star Stable first added the ability to own multiple horses in April of 2013. This came with the release of the Generation 1 Morgan Horses and English Thoroughbred. Prior to this update, you could only have one horse, your starter horse, and you did not have the ability to change its appearance at the time. I'm sure you are all familiar with the first ever Jormvik Warmblood model. It is very reminiscent of Star Stable's old comic book style. The Generation 1 Morgan Horse and English Thoroughbred were basically just recolored variations of the Jorvik Warmblood model, under a different name. They did not have any type of advantage in speed or distinct animation. Although the Black English Thoroughbred was a staple in racing culture in the earlier days. Each horse was marketed at a different price ranging from 300 to 850 star coins. The value of the horse would normally depend on the color rather than the breed. Over the course of the next five weeks, three new horse breeds would be introduced, the Oldenburg, Morab, and Akoteke. A chance to give players more variety with the new function of owning multiple horses. For the time being, you could only own six horses at once in your stable. Although, Star Stable wasn't able to exercise their artistic ability as well with these horse breeds and truly give them their respective, unique features. Therefore, every horse that was available for purchase at this time was just a recolored starter horse, basically. I could imagine that got boring after a while, but the starter horse model was just an excellent representation of Star Stable Online. An overall, really good horse. On June 6th, 2013, Star Stable teased something very exciting to the players. A majestic black beauty that truly stood out from every other horse on Jorvik. The Frisian horse would become the first ever horse breed with its own unique model, displaying its powerful muscles, graceful agility, and heavy feathering. All while still containing some of that Star Stable charm, the Frisian horse would debut on June 12th, 2013, with three variations to choose from. Of course, all with a different shade of black. These horses quickly rose to popularity, as they were well anticipated. I can imagine what a milestone that was for the game, and how grateful the community must have been. This horse was a perfect choice for those who wanted to stand out from the crowd. The Frisian horse was much taller than the regular horses, as well as had a long, 
glorious mane that challenged Star Stable's normality. Star Stable went on to introduce more diverse horse models in 2013, such as the Yorvik Pony on August 21st and the Arabian Thoroughbred on December 18th. But the popularity of the Frisian still remained, especially to those who prefer a darker, edgier taste and appearance. Let's fast forward to March 26th, 2014. An iconic bi-weekly festival was brought to Jorvik by two world travelers. Ferdinand's Horse Market made its first appearance in Jorvik Stables Arena. They brought three new astonishing horses with the arrival of the market, an Andalusian and two Frisian sport horses. The Frisian sport horse was the perfect combination of the Andalusian and the Frisian horse. The breed did not quite have the same feathering as the Frisian, much like the Andalusian, but it did serve the grayscale tones of a Frisian, like what we see with these two new additions. And let's be honest, the Appaloosa Frisian horse is so iconic. It looks great in every generation. Going into July of 2014, the horse market returned in its regular rotation at the Jorvik Stables Arena, and with it brought a new Frisian sport horse. This horse sported a long, smooth, flowy mane. The coat was almost entirely black with a scarlet hue, topped off with a facial marking and four white socks for each of the legs. After Star Stable Entertainment acquired the rights to the entire game in 2015, they were able to have more creative freedom to express some ideas they held on to for years, as well as hire some very talented developers to help achieve their goals. They came out with some remarkable horse breeds during this era. The American Quarter Horse, the Shire, Icelandic Horses, Welsh Ponies, as well as give the Morgan Horse a model that represents its real-life characteristics properly. Now that they harnessed their potential to go above and beyond what they were producing two years prior, it was time to look back on some of the pre-existing horse breeds. Starting with the Frisian. The Generation 2 Frisian horse was teased on July 2nd, 2016. In the article, an image would be attached showing what the players could expect to arrive only four days later. And then, it did! July 6th, the remodeled Frisian is on sale at Steve's Farm for 990 star coins. The same launch price as the previous Frisian model, the Generation 2 Frisian offered three variations of black. A blue black, a brown black, and a silver black. As you can imagine, the launch of the Generation 2 Frisian horse was very reminiscent of the Generation 1 Frisian debut three years ago. Level requirements were all the same, and they were placed in the exact same spot as their Generation 1 counterpart. Let's break the horse down into more detail. The public perception of this horse was pretty neutral due to the standards of the recent horses at the time. Of course, looking back on this horse now, you can easily pick apart many flaws. It gave us never-before-seen animations that were even more graceful and realistic to the majestic nature of a true Frisian. The mane was capable of flowing in the wind at full sprint, which was a great detail. And they still sported the traditional feathering at the fetlocks. Fast forward to August 24th of 2016, the Frisian Sport Horse makes a comeback in its brand new Generation 2 style. The three new variants were available in chestnut, gray, and an amber black. They were available for purchase exclusively in New Hillcrest for 890 star coins. In November of 2016, a trio of new horse variants arrived in Jorvik including a brand new sleek, bright, white Frisian sport horse, available for purchase in Crescent Moon Village. Let's now go into May of 2017 where the iconic black and white spotted Frisian sport horse gets reintroduced in a Generation 2 style. Once again, available for purchase in Crescent Moon Village. And finally, in September of 2017, another old friend had been updated into the Generation 2. The black with white markings Frisian sport horse was remodeled and released for 890 star coins. 
ever since the debut of horses like the Lipizzaner and Frisian in 2016, players started to create their own activity around that time, and cleverly implement it into the game with the resources provided for them. The community quickly became fond of said activity, and it's safe to say the popularity spread like wildfire. Dressage became a rapidly growing activity in Star Sable, beginning around 2017. So many organizations and clubs were formed around Dressage alone. And I am sure the introduction of the Frisian and Lipizzaner, traditional horses used in Dressage in real life, were inspiration behind creating Dressage in Star Stable. Places like the Riding Hall were finally being put to a great use, instead of just going there to do like three daily races and then leaving. The only problem was, in the early days of dressage, resources were scarce. And what I mean by that is, the riding hall was truly the only practice arena with props to be able to determine where your team goes. But that did not stop the dressage community. Because the impact of dressage on Star Stable became so massive over the years that the company rewarded the players with proper practice arenas all over Jorvik. Several new traditional dressage horses with special gates were released over the years. The ability to hide other players in arenas, revamping the riding hall, an album with classic dressage inspired music. The list goes on and on. Not to say there weren't some faults along the way. Still, after all these years and all of the well-deserved attention given to the dressage community, they still had to perform their sets on outdated horses. The Frisian was still a pretty high pick, despite being several years old at that point. That is until... the third generation. Let's move on into undoubtedly one of the most successful years for Star Stable in a while. Thanks to a devastating lockdown in the real world, Many were confined to their electronics all day, searching for something exciting in their online equestrian escape. We were winding down into the chillier season, setting up tinsel and listening to Mariah Carey, when Star Stable posted a teaser of the unfinished Generation 3 Frisian horse to multiple social media platforms. They captioned, drop your suggestions and wishes in the comments. Star Stable is no stranger to asking their community for advice and just being genuinely open about what is to come to the game in the following weeks. Sometimes they listen to their community, sometimes they don't. I wish I could say it's 50-50, but it is more like 32-68. The Generation 3 Frisian seemed to be no exception, as just a few weeks later they were released to the public on December 16th, 2020. Three colors including a leopard, fire chestnut, and classic black made it to Jorvik, all available for the price of 950 star coins. Quickly, this horse was to become one of the most disliked horse breeds in Star Stable. The community has not ever quite agreed on one thing before, but the dislike of the Generation 3 Frisian is something a majority of us have in common. But if you are a fan of the Generation 3 Frisian, that is completely okay. I don't want to be hypocritical, because I love the Generation 1 Frisian so much, but it was nothing close to its real life counterpart. I am no horse expert, and am not the biggest fan of Gen 3 in general, so I rely on the feedback of reputable sources that can give critical but reasonable opinions based on their own experiences with the Frisian in real life. The feedback that was given includes points made about their gates, like the gallop and the hard stop being unrealistic, as well as the way the model looked in general. The mane and tail are a bit too exaggerated, but can be changed with a visit to the horse salon. The idle animations, to me, are so inconsistent. They are so cartoony. It is almost like Star Stable threw in a bunch of animations that are extremely photogenic, but so unrealistic. And they are probably designed that way for a reason, to be photogenic, so that you can share a bunch of photos of your Frisian on Instagram and ultimately boost the hype of these horses so it sells more. I believe 
that Starcy will allegedly throw a blanket of security onto this horse by labeling it as the quote-unquote Jorvik Frisian. Therefore, canceling out any remarks made about the lack of realism this horse provides. And to be honest, I will always be a bit peeved about how rushed this horse seems. From the very first day, you could tell the transition between the animations were very buggy, among other things. I am almost sure this horse was rushed for a reason, to reach that Christmas time deadline because the company knew that many kids were receiving their holiday money around this time. They even sold a variation in the Winter Village to persuade children with joyful Christmas lights and the newest shiny horse. Which is such a shame. Using such a historical and iconic breed in Star Stable and pretty much putting its name in the dirt. At the end of the day, Star Stable is a company, and they do need to make money to keep themselves afloat. It just seems like they're sacrificing so much of the community's respect for money, and still not getting the reward they hoped for, according to their alleged earnings. Fast forward to January of 2021, the remaining three variations of Jorvik Frisian become available in the game. The iconic spotted black and white, a pure gray, and black with white socks. Exclusive bridles were promoted alongside the Jorvik Frisian, and at the time, only they were capable of wearing them. These bridles would be retailed at 90 star coins, or 9,000 Jorvik shillings. In August of 2021, the Generation 3 Frisian would be given their very own magical variant. Faramar and Aldrek medieval dragon-inspired horses that were sold for a limited time at 950 star coins. And finally, the black and white Pinto Frisian was released on September 29th, 2021, alongside a batch of new color variants to pre-existing horses. That concludes the entire history of the beloved Frisian horse up until now. I hope you all enjoyed rediscovering the amazing history behind one of Star Stable's most iconic horses. Please, let me know your opinions on each generation, and which Frisian calls your stable home. Until next time, this has been Kitty Spiderweb, signing out.